Lastly, I'll show you how to encrypt the password we just created. Now this password, I'll show you, it's currently unencrypted. You do a show run. Well here we see the enable secret password and it's encrypted, just like I said. Um, go down, we see here line VTY 0 through 4 and 5 through 15 they're both using password 1 2 3 4 5 and you can read it plain as day to encrypt those passwords you do the service password encryption command and now we go back to look at the uh, lines We see that the password has been encrypted. Now this number right here in front of the password is to tell the device later on, let's say you want to paste this into another device, this tells it that it's encrypted in the type of encryption that it's using for the for the password, for the string. So that when you put it in, the switch you know, or it knows what it is. You don't have to, you know, put in a, put it in clear text before you paste it into the into the device. As a note of caution, though, the encryption used by this command is extremely weak and easily broken. There are, you know, a couple applications that you can just put this in, and it'll it'll crack it in no time. Right now we'll save the configuration. Finally, we need to secure the console line. We accomplish this the same way we did the VTY lines. However, it's recommended that a different password be used. This might seem like a little overkill to some people, um, but you know if you're going for any kind of security, I, I would recommend making your passwords different. Now you could probably make the VTY and console passwords the same. You know, that might be okay, but the enable passwords should be different than the console or VTY, period. It's just one extra layer of security. It's minimal, but it's just one more thing. Alright, to um, password protect the console line, do it the same way that you did the VTY lines. VT line console zero password this time I'll make it five four three two one and login there you go now don't save the configuration just yet make sure that the password is going to work the next time you access the switch through the console port so before logging out, tell the switch to reload after two minutes. No, do not save the configuration. Okay, we have two minutes before the switch will reload, reload itself. This is just in case your password doesn't work the switch will restart without the non-working password being saved, thus keeping you from having to perform a password recovery procedure. Alright, so exit out. Okay, be prompted for a password to access the console line. Say 54321. Okay, no. There's a enable secret command. And are the enable password and we are in reload cancel okay so the switch has been the reload has been canceled we know the password works save and we're done 
Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful, and I thank you for watching.